Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we are starting with a Rolly Winkler update. So he posted this photo, it's just an elevator selfie and in the caption he says bigger but better, that's all. Did he actually get bigger? Is he really able to grow? Well he says he's bigger but we can't really tell for sure because these kind of selfies under great lighting are can be deceiving so we don't really know but does he look a little bit bigger, fuller here? Yeah, it seems that way and he says he's bigger so the question is can he really grow into the show? He has four more weeks until Arnold Classic, can he actually maintain the conditioning and grow? I think it is possible, I think he can improve, I think he can just maintain the same level of conditioning, maybe just sharpen it up in the final week and all the time before that he can actually utilize and actually get a little bit bigger, fuller but can he actually get to his old size in a couple of weeks between two shows? I say no. If he wants to get to this size back again, he would have to have a full blown off season, provided that he didn't lose all the muscle due to age, he's 44. So if he actually lost the muscle for the reasons he's saying that he did, like not training, probably not blasting gear for a long time in the off season, then sure, if he starts blasting stuff in the offseason and he has a couple of months to grow, then maybe he can get back to this size, but right now, maybe he does seem a little bit fuller, but is he gonna be that much better on the stage at Arnold Classic? I think he's gonna be better, he was much better at uh, Spain than he was at the Chicago, much much better, still wasn't enough to win the show, and now it's not gonna be enough to win Arnold Classic, not even close, but for him to crack the top 5 at Arnold, that might happen, I hope he'll improve enough to make that happen. But can Nick Walker win the Arnold Classic? He posted a couple of photos here, he says he's going to win, and he is getting shredded. At 4 weeks out, look at the legs, <laughs> look at his vascularity and the thin skin he has gotten shredded. In 4 weeks out, he looks amazing. What he needs to work on now is improving the glutes, basically hamstrings and lower back, everything else from the front, he's done. Anyways, this photo really caught my eye, especially his legs. Now, if you take a look at the quads, they are as dry as they can probably get. I don't know if he can get much leaner, he will get leaner for sure, but not, not that much, really. He's basically there, he's pretty much done, but what caught my eyes more was his lower legs, his calves, and of course the varicose veins that he's suffering from. Suffering is probably not the best word because as he says it's not dangerous at all, it's nothing, it's just an aesthetic thing and I honestly hope that it is somehow fixable but it seems like he doesn't care about it, he doesn't want to fix it. When he does his Q&A's everybody is talking about this, everybody is asking him and he's always like what about it, it's fine, I like it, I love my legs, I love my varicose veins. I don't know how can somebody like this, I mean, I understand he maybe looks a little bit more freaky, but uh, old ladies, grandmas has have legs like this, so I don't find this freaky or anything, I just find it not, not pleasing to the eye, I don't like looking at this, and uh, maybe, I don't know, it looks like he has more veins now than he had like last year. I didn't even know that we had this many blood vessels in our lower legs. I'm not an expert, I don't know what is the thing with varicose veins, so with this condition. If you guys have any more information, share it with us in the comment section down below. But it does look quite nasty, I hope he can fix this somehow, but it doesn't really seem reversible. It's just ruining his aesthetics. I mean, he's not very aesthetic to begin with, but this is not helping. Though he is peeled, again, look at the legs, look at the upper legs, uh, he kind of has a lot of vascularity up there as well, but it doesn't look uh, nasty, it doesn't look ugly, it looks just freaky, that's the freakiness that I'm okay with, not what is going on in the lower legs. Overall, he has gotten much sharper, four weeks out, he's gonna look amazing on that stage, he's gonna give us a hell of a show, and I expect great things from him. I do not expect his varicose veins to hold him back, I don't think the judges care about it, not in men's bodybuilding, and we will we'll see, can he challenge William Bonek and the others, can he win this show, it's really a wild card, we have no idea what he looks like standing next to those guys, but anything is possible guys, really anything. Ok, we have something interesting on Jay Cutler, before I get to that I want to share this photo, most recent photo of him, 
where he looks amazing. He looks great. He is one of those bodybuilders that stayed big. I mean, he is a big guy. He still is a big bodybuilder. He didn't lose all the, all the size, but he was kind of always like a big guy. He had always a big, big structure. He is kind of a mezzo endo type of body. He's not like acto mezzo like Dennis Wolf or, or Dave Palombo and these other guys that lost all of their gains. So Jay Cutler, I'm sure he's having much easier time maintaining all this mass and he does look amazing and he's still a baller. He didn't relax at all after retiring. He's still crushing it every day and I love to see that. So Jay Cutler, he said that Chris Bumstead can be a Mr. Olympia winner in open bodybuilding. So he says if Chris Bumstead actually wanted to cross to open, I truly think he could be the first Mr. Olympia Classic champ to open in time. If you are having trouble understanding what he wanted to say, I had for a moment, but I guess what he's trying to say is that he can be the first Mr. Olympia winner in Classic Physique that can become the Mr. Olympia winner in, in, in open after some time, you know. It's interesting that Jay Cutler told Phil Heath back in the day I believe it was 2005 or 2008, by the 2008 Phil Heath was already pretty much established, I would have to say 2005, uh, Jay Cutler and Phil Heath met at an expo and Jay told Phil that he is going to become the Mr. Olympia in the future and he was obviously right. Uh, Jay Cutler also was talking uh, very highly about Regan Grimes and his potential, also about Callum Wunmoger, he believed that Callum could be like a top top bodybuilder he was talking about these guys because they have the right structure and now he's probably mentioning Sibam because of his structure is this realistic can Chris actually become an open bodybuilding Mr. Olympia champion it's really it's really tough to say I don't think anybody can really give us this kind of an answer and the thing is we probably will never see him even try because of his autoimmune system disease he can't push the gear too much he can't really take it to that next level and really it's a pity it's such a shame i would love to see him max out in classic physique and then do the open and try his best he said that he will try to do arnold classic in the open but he will probably not max out if he wanted to really try to win the Mr. Olympia, he would have to like blast gear like crazy and food and everything, like live, live in the box for a couple of years and then maybe he could like challenge Big Ramy or some of these big freaks. So right now, not even close in time, maybe. It really is sad that we, we are not gonna see him try. Arnold Classic is approaching, as well as Mr. Olympia. There is a lot of talk about this new guy, Robert Timms, but not enough people are mentioning Brian Jones, who was, I believe, sixth at the Mr. Olympia last year, and he is still taking update photos in bodybuilding posing trunks. He said that eventually he wants to move to the open, but as for now, he's still uh, in the Classic Physique weight-wise. He is 228 right now and looks 280. <laughs> Seriously, this guy is such a freak. Now, the thing with him is he has a lot of muscle, but he doesn't really have... Um, he has a classic physique, don't get me wrong. He has classic lines, but he kind of has that round, full muscle belly. It kind of looks like what I would imagine a muscle becomes when you're abusing insulin. And I actually saw this in many examples. On my level of competition, like regional level over here in Serbia, I know a lot of guys who tried to get big and they got their legs bigger, but they lost the details. At that high level, you can you can notice that with Milos Sharchev. If you take a look at his older photos when he was very young, he had crazy details and separation in the quads. And then later it just got, a, it just got a little bit uh, softer, mushy kind of looking and i think that's the thing with with brian jones here uh, he doesn't have the deep cuts the deep striations he can get super conditioned he looks very full very good structure everything but i think he has more of a bodybuilding look like his legs remind me of those of that vlad guy for example that uh, competed against Rolly and nathan at the europa pro 
and some of the other top pros, they have this kind of look, you know, full blown, full legs with vascularity, thin skin, but not super deep detail. And I think that's gonna hurt him at that Mr. Olympia stage. So I don't really see him moving much, uh, too many spots at the Mr. Olympia. I can't really see him challenging Chris Bumstead. I think Robert Teams actually has a better chance than this guy. Even though I do prefer this structure, I would call this more classic. But I know the criteria in classic physique and I know the details are very appreciated. And that's why Brian Jones will have some issues on that stage. How will Wesley Wissers do at the Mr. Olympia since he just qualified? Yes, he won a show. He qualified for the Mr. Olympia. And if Mr. Olympia was only this pose and it was all about the golden era type of physique, he will be the Mr. Olympia winner. However, it's not about that. It's about conditioning. It's about small waist. It's about the details, 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 symmetry, uh, structure, proportions, stuff like that. You guys know what the criteria is. Even if you don't really know it on paper, you can see what guys are doing better. And Wesley... He is improved, he's really much improved, but it's still not enough to be like top 6, top 8 at the Mr. Olympia, I don't think so. When he does his posing routine, he knows how to express himself, how to present himself in the best light possible. Really reminds us of Arnold Schwarzenegger, he does his routines in that way, he's not showing a lot of his weaknesses. And the conditioning is so much better this year than it ever was, seriously, this guy got ripped this year for sure but then there are still many flaws like his legs uh definitely can be bigger now they look much smaller even because they because he lost fullness trying to get shredded and that's an issue and also his waistline is a little bit too wide he's uh, he's blocky in that area arnold could have gotten away with that but not wesley not against these other guys who are super gifted with small tiny waists he can try to hide it and he's doing a great job at it, but still at the Mr. Olympia stage you can't really hide much because everybody else is just pretty much very close to perfection and everybody else who has flaws will be exposed. So Wesley Wissers won a show, I'm not even sure which show this was, as usual he qualifies by winning some low level shows. I love the rate that he is improving at, every year he looks much better, still it's not quite there yet, but in a matter of time I believe he can eventually get to that level of being like top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, if he keeps progressing at this rate. Boom, and we have a crazy update of Brandon Curry, who is not going for conditioning this year, Last year, at this time, he was much smaller, much, much flatter, but super ripped. Now, he's taking it easy, he's taking it slowly. He knows who his competition is. Last year, he was scared of Phil Heath. He did not see Big Remy coming. Now, he knows he's going against Big Remy. And Big Remy, if everything goes perfect for him, he will be in decent conditioning, he will not be shredded. So there is no reason for Brandon to lose the fullness, to lose the legs in order to get peeled when Big Ram is going to dwarf him simply with decent conditioning and beat him. So Brandon needs to play the size game. And how good is Brandon at playing that game? I think he's very good at it. I don't think it's Big Ramy's game only. I think Brandon Curry is supposed to go for that route. I think he's not supposed to go with conditioning because he loses the leg fullness if he goes with conditioning. With, with more fullness, with more size, I'm sure he added some size in the offseason, because that's Brandon, he improves every year, he can be a serious threat to that title, and I think it's gonna be a very close battle, and I can see it go both way, now that Ram is a champ, he maybe has a little bit of an advantage, but I still can see Big Ramy, uh, Big Ramy losing against this guy right here, Brandon Curry, because he does look super freaky right now, and I'm pretty sure that even though Brandon is gonna go with the fullness uh, fullness game, I think he will still be more conditioned than Big Ramy, and he will expose some of the weaknesses of Big Ramy, like uh, back, back details, especially lower back details in the back double bicep, stuff like that. I'm not sure who's gonna win, but it's gonna be a great battle, I'll tell you that much. And for the end, we have bad news, Cedric is unfortunately not gonna be doing Arnold Classic. Yes, I know he's sponsored by Redcon 1, 
but that's not the reason why he's not doing it. I hope he's not lying, but what he says here is that uh, I just wanted to let everybody know I won't be able to compete at the Arnold this year as I'm still recovering and the dogs were like, uh, no, Mr. McMillan. This is the first year I've missed since my first one in 2013. I can't wait to get back on that stage, but guess what? I will be there as a part of the broadcast team. Hopefully me and Arnold can call the show together. That would be an honor for me. I hope to help bring different feel and experience to all of you that will be watching the show online. Pray for me that I don't say too many curse words. Haha. <laughs> So, unfortunately, there will be no Cedric on that stage, that really sucks, I was really hoping to see him at his best, but no, not this year, unfortunately, very unfortunately, and it's good news that he's not against Arnold, he stayed loyal to him, it didn't take one bad sentence from Arnold to try to cancel him, and no, Cedric is not that sensitive, he, he loves Arnold, he's loyal to him, and he's happy to be there as a part of the broadcast crew, so he will be commentating on the, sh on the show, and that's gonna be interesting enough, uh, at least that's something, unfortunately, we're not gonna see him on stage, but it is what it is. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you enjoyed the content, like this video, for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to this channel, all the best, guys, and bye-bye.